Hey you guys and welcome back to the channel. Today I am cleaning this kitchen once again. I swear I cannot keep it clean, especially since my kids have been home. If you are new here, my name is Rogina. Thank you so much for clicking on this video. I hope you like it and me enough to hit that subscribe button down below. Also, don't forget to like, comment, and turn on that notification bell so you are notified every time I upload a video. Of course, I'm going to start by decluttering and getting everything off of the counters. We had a lot of things on the counters from going to the grocery store. We were preparing for a small family brunch the next day. This was filmed on a Friday and by this time it was probably 7.30, 8 o'clock, if not later. Um, I was very tired. I had went to work, um, got off work, went um, to my mom's house, picked the kids up, then I came home, then I cooked a very fast dinner, just a cheesy chicken and broccoli and rice casserole with some leftover uh, rotisserie chicken that I had gotten from Sam's. And then I had to clean and put up all of this stuff. Next to you, you're like honey to a bee. I go crazy for the sweet when I'm next to you, girl. We had Chinese food the night before, so all of our leftover condiments I put in our condiment drawer with these white Dollar Tree organizers. definitely going to start picking up rotisserie chickens more often and using them in different recipes you can use chicken in so many different ways and this chicken tastes so good and it's so juicy it was never dry and I usually get them at um, Kroger but now we have a Sam's car so now I'm going to start picking up probably two a week or two every so often and deboning them and using the chicken in different recipes
So deep cleaning this deep fryer was not in the plan at all. I was just going to go ahead and like wipe it down and clean out the main part where the grease was because my husband had just dumped all of the old grease out. But y'all, oh my god, it was so greasy and so nasty as you can see by the basket. Oh, it was like really, really bad and I just could not put it back together like that. I am going in with a Brillo pad, a borax, and some soapy water to clean this metal basket. This took me so long to clean. I actually edited some of it out because it took forever. I think I used like two Brillo pads. I had to keep dumping it and soaking it back in the water. Like it was so greasy and so nasty. So if you've watched my previous videos, you already know that I like to put as much as I can in our dishwasher and then just wash the rest by hand. I do not like washing dishes. I'm sorry. I just don't. That's what they make dishwashers for. And I stuff mine to capacity. I am really not sure why we have so many bags of bread on our counter. We have two loaves of wheat bread. Like some hamburger buns, some um, cinnamon raisin bagels, which I love, but it was like so many different kinds of bread. I'm like, what the world is going on? Cut me close to the heart, but we can master the art. And the thing is that these scars are scary, but they are just small scars. We should never be.
Does anybody else use a gazillion towels when they clean? I feel like I use so many towels when I clean and when I feel like they're just gross and dirty and I can't clean anymore, I just throw them on the floor near the doorway so I don't pick them back up. This is the lid from the deep fryer. I initially thought this lid was supposed to be black, but as you can see by the shock in my face, y'all, I was surprised. This thing is actually silver. I don't think I've ever cleaned this lid. I didn't even realize it was this color. And it was at this moment that I knew I had bit off more than I could chew with trying to clean this deep fryer. Cause I know the people scared sometimes hope it's not this time cause I might go too fast suddenly I feel so rich no I don't know the thing oh I can't let this slip slip no I gotta see some Now that that lid is soaking, I'm going to go ahead and pick up some of the things off the floor, just mostly shoes and a couple of toys. As you can tell, I was working hard trying to scrub that deep fryer. There is water all over the front of my dress. I told you every single time, don't you worry You would always call me at the wrong time So you can know what I was up to Oh, don't you get that, it's just stupid, mm -hmm.
So that little Brillo pad was not working against this grease. All of this caked on, baked on grease from this deep fryer. So I had to pull out the big guns and get my metal scrubber out and it did the trick so quickly and so well. And this is how it turned out. I cannot even believe that thing looked like that under all of that grease. Feels like I've been trying. So at this point the kids have gone to bed and now I'm going to go ahead and wipe down this table. And that is it you guys. I hope you enjoyed the video and I will see you in the next one.